Oh my God, when you're getting divorced, there is all kinds of like well-intentioned or maybe not so well-intentioned advice that you're gonna get. And one of those things is take time to heal. And literally this, when I got divorced, it was 10 years ago. So this whole, now there's a lot more conversation about healing and what that may mean. For me, there wasn't, because people would say that and I'd be like, okay, that sounds like a cool idea. Take time to heal. Like, yeah, all right, who can argue with that? But like, how do I do that? Like, what literally do I do? Like, do I get a pill? Do I go to yoga? I mean, I tried the yoga thing. I mean, that's kind of it. Like, how does one heal? And for, for me, I've learned that really what healing means, and maybe this will reach you um, in the middle of your divorce, is taking the time to feel the feeling and sit with it and not run. Because if you run or you keep yourself busy or you don't allow yourself the time to sit in it, to grieve, to hurt, and instead you go to action or anger, you're never going to move through it. 